let's optimize the queries in laravel where we have the n plus one problem now what is n plus one problem and why we are having lot of queries here 26 queries and hitting 91 models it's just a home page we should not do lot of these things so let's start this video welcome to bitfumes i'm your host sarthak and this video is all about optimizing the n plus one problem in laravel basically i am rewriting the back end for my bitfumes website in laravel with inertia js and this means i'm sending all these things whatever is needed from the database as a prop on every page this means if i go to the home page like hitting like this and see the network tab you can see i'm having this categories and we have 23 categories and that's why you can see we have 26 uh, queries 24 for the qu for the categories one for selecting all the categories and one for the user which i am sending here but how this data is coming so if you don't know much about inertia js i can tell you that we have this middleware called handle inertia request which means for every request or every page we visit on any website we are sending all these data every time in every page yes so if i go on the block page you can see i am having 108 queries oh that's insane we need to reduce it we need to figure out how we can optimize these things and you can see 11.33 milliseconds is the total time it took to get all these data cool let's solve this so first of all you can see we are having this categories we are fetching all the category and every category is we are just saying hey order by title and give me all the category so no issue with this why we are having 26 queries problem lies on this resource the category resource is actually counting how many cores every category is having so that's how i show here so see if i go to the angular you can see angular just have one course but if i go on let's say on laravel <laughs> yeah so laravel is taking time and here you can see it has one two one two queries oh that's really really bad so we need to solve this let's first get and solve this uh, category problem so the problem lies here first of all we need to see that if i just comment this and reload the page you can see we just back to two queries but then we are losing the categories hmm, we are having some issue cool so we need the count but you know in laravel we have a way to get all the counts for category basically we need to load our relationship with the count so we say go and get me the category but with count of a category courses so if i go on the category model i have a relationship here for courses and i'm calling that give me all the relationship data with the count and once we get the count instead of doing this we just say courses underscore count so this give you courses underscore count now if i go here reload the page and still we can see we just have two queries why is that because now it is optimized and you can see everything is working wow that's super duper amazing plus you can see now the time is now reduced from 12 or 11 millisecond to just around 3 millisecond which is really powerful and this is how you need to optimize your query but what's going to happen if i change the page if i change the page on another page you can see we are still calling for category that means for every request i need to call the categories every time no that's not good what i can do for this is let's move everything in the caching so i say cache and then i say hey remember forever 
and in this I will call these things remove it and I say all categories and this is going to be returned so whatever will be the first execution of this will be returned and cached in the key of all categories and for subsequent request it will not go into the database but to give you result from the caching okay so let's go to home page and reload you can see we just have one query why because every time we go on any page we get data from the caching and not from our category model so we are not getting that and i can show you by clearing the caching and reload the page you can see we are back with the category uh, query like here and now if i reload we, we are not having that so this is how we can optimize the queries and now let's go to the courses and see how many queries we are having and how we can optimize it right now you can see we have 1187 queries and it's taking more than one second which is not good so how we should optimize this first of all we need to look into the queries and how many queries are repeating so i can see that there are chapters and watched these two are repeating so first of all to see what exactly is affecting it i can go to the course uh, controller and here you can see we have this course resource where we are loading some of the things so i know this chapter is creating the issue so i just want to comment it right now and see what's going to happen yeah now we are back to 25 queries this is wow this is really only thing which was creating the mess now we can still see we are having a lot of watched so that is because of this progress so progress is basically we are loading what is your progress on any course it depends upon how many videos you have watched from the course so it is still creating the issue so if i removed the watched that means the progress and the chapter we are back with only four queries and it just 4.9 millisecond wow this is great now let's optimize this one by one first of all this progress so let's see what this progress is doing it is checking for the count of the watched for every course and then giving the progress instead of this what we have to do we need to say once again watched count now if i do this just this is this going to affect you can see it says something hmm but you know when we are not loading it will load as null so we are not loading watch count so we need to load the watch count here we say with count of watched and just by doing that if i reload still having four queries but this time it's also querying for watch dot course id and that's how we get the result and we will find everything we want here great so we have done that and next is the chapters now chapter problem is with the chapter resource chapter resource is loading this items and these items is creating problem so if i comment the items then also you can see we just have 25 queries that's because we are not loading the relationship of chapters so let's load this chapters and we should get back to only five queries great now what about this items how we can do that so what we have to do here for the items is we can say that hey we only want to load this item when needed so i say this merge or i can say uh, load when when loaded yeah so when these items are loaded then only do the things otherwise not so when loaded and i want github copilot to do my work so it should not it's not doing <laughs> so anyways so this should be like here and cool so when this is loading then only we are going to have these items in the resource chapter resource otherwise not so once again we are back with 
five queries and now if i go here and check for any course if i have the progress and the chapters loading properly so go to the course course and here let me zoom it for you on the chapters we are just having id serial number slug and title that's the only thing we want no extra stuff so this is how you optimize and brainstorm on your project and optimizing query is the essential part of a really fast website so if you have any query or if you want any kind of help in optimizing the query just hit me in the comment section or you can dm me on twitter instagram linkedin anywhere we will meet we're going to meet in the next video till then goodbye